What's up everyone, it's Bizless here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to quickly bypass or AB compare your mixing or mastering chain in a nice and elegant way. So why would you even want to bypass your mixing or mastering chain? Well basically two reasons that come to my mind. First thing is maybe you just want to hear if you go in the right direction, if you're not making the sound uh, even worse. So you can on and off your mixing, mastering chain, the whole one. And the second thing, you might want to just to compare two different set of settings or two different mastering plugins, which one of them sounds better. Let's jump into the Ableton and I'll show you how to do it in literally a couple minutes. Let's go. Okay, so we're in Ableton and this is my song. Let's listen to that. We have some EQs, we have compressors, we have multiband compressor, we have fresh air, saturation up, ozone, that's our mastering plugin that I use. And then we have a some metering stuff. So we have Yulin loudest meter and spectrum and limiter at the end just to be safe. So if we want to create another chain, how will we do that? So first things, we want to group all of these effects together. So let's start with the first one, EQ, and let's go to the last one that does some changes to the sound. So that will be the ozone because these are just metering plugins like this spectrum and limiter. So let's press command G to group or control G on Windows or you can just right click and find this option here, group. So now once we group them all, we can just switch them on and off like that. If you press this button here, it's gonna switch off all the chain up onto these things that are just metering stuff. So. Let's switch it back on and let's listen to what it does as we go, as we play. Yeah, so we hear that is a quite a lot of difference in the volume, but because we want to make sure that it's not the case. So what can we do is we have the on and off button, but it doesn't work as you intended to do. So we want to open this little tab here and we see the chain. This is our chain that goes from start through all these effects up to the end of this bracket. And then the sound gets further to the Uli Nalda's meter spectrum and so on and so on. So we can rename this by pressing control R or command R and call it like mastering chain. And now we want to click right click and press create chain. And we see it's like a clean chain here, really nice. And we can call it uh, clean. So without any effects. <clears throat> and then let's uh, drop some kind of effects. Let's say limiter will be the best idea because we can kind of make that sound a little bit louder. So to match the loudness. So how do we do that? We set ceiling to around minus 130 and we will play with the gain until it sounds similar. Okay, so the most important thing is that we want to listen to that in the solo mode, because if we don't, it's gonna add both of these signals and output them really loud. So uh, we will press the solo once, this little square S here, and we will never go back from this moment. And we can just switch from this to this, and let's listen to the first one, and let's quickly adjust the levels by ear for now, and then I'll show you how to do it properly. Let's find some louder loop. Yeah, of course, it's not perfect, but uh, you can definitely hear the difference between the mastering chain and the clean one, which one sounds better. So if you want to be precise, you will use this Yuli loudest meter and then you have all the readings here. So let's uh, go to the first one. Let's listen to that. So the C goes to around minus 12 uh, LUFS and minus 1.1 dB true peak max. And let's switch to this one and see how it goes. It's a bit more quiet because basically there's nothing, nothing compressed in this sample. So that's why it's going to be a little bit more quiet. So that's the first thing, how to bypass your mastering chain. So quickly listen to this and we can hear that on the go. Okay. 
Okay, great. So how to compare if you have two different mastering chains of you want to try another plugin. So let's say this time I have a Ozone 9 Elements, but we want to try another plugin. Maybe the sound's going to be much better. So how do we do that? We just create another chain. Let's leave it into the solo mode. Let's call it as my plugin is called. So this time it will be Master Desk. So let's drop Master Desk here. And let's quickly rename that Control R or Command R. And then we can do like a quick mastering just to show how it goes. Let's play it again. So the volume. Yeah, it's not perfect, obviously, but I'm just playing with it now. But now, thanks to that, we can add some more effects. We can, let's say, shape it a little bit more with EQ8. So let's put it here, and then let's cut off some of the bass. Let's boost a little bit of the mids here and there. Okay, yeah, let's do that just quickly, just for the sake of demonstration. And now we can compare these two. And of course, each time you want to go back to the loudness meter, which is here, and then just to compare if you are okay with your true peak max, like here you see it's going over the top. So that's how you basically do it. Now I have a pro tip number one. When you did these changes, you want to compare these two types of mastering that you've done to the tracks or mixes. So first you solo the first one and just go to file, export, even this loop or everything together audio video and then if you have all the settings correct just leave it as it is then export it like that number one okay now you solo the other track and the other mastering chain and then do the same file export and at this stage which is very important what you want to do is to make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more awesome content so let's do that first and then i'm clicking export let's call it number two So you have these two files here, and then you can uh, download them to your MP3 player or to your phone and listen to them on the speakers, just to compare which one is better. Now I have a pro tip number two. When you have all these things done, you did a good job and you've gone so far up to this moment, you might want to save these presets for the next time. Maybe some of the settings are actually okay and you want to just to tweak them with your next song or you're making something very similar that, that's going to share most of the processing chain. So what you want to do is to probably rename this one. Let's press Command or Control R and call it my best mastering chain. And then you press this little kind of floppy icon and it's going to save it here in your audio effect track. And then let's see if it does it is. Then it's safe. So next time, if you want to open it and you want to drop it on any other track, you will always have it on hand when you need it. Okay guys, and did you know that some of the plugins I use are actually free, like this Yulin Loudest Meter here? You can get that for free. And if you're curious what other free plugins I use on a daily basis, you can watch the video here about seven free plugins that every music producer should have. Okay, if you like this video, hit the like button, that helps a lot. Subscribe for more awesome content. And thanks so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video. Cheers!